What is up the world, it's Constant Gamer here and welcome back. Today, I've got another Ark Survival Evolved video for you. I haven't done one of these in absolutely ages and I really should be doing some more because this game is absolutely awesome. So, anyway, today I'm just going to be showing off our base, mine and Jacob's base, the, our whole tribe's base that we've been building since we started playing Ark. I'm just going to show it off to you because we've been spending a lot of time on this game and I don't really record much on it, but I really am going to start recording a lot more because it is such a brilliant game and yeah, I just really enjoy it. So let's start off with going on here before we get into all the good parts up there in that metal box. Yes. So first of all, I'll show you the exterior look of the base, see what enemies see when they look at the base. So this is the little area that we've decided to build in. Nice river down, going down here. It leads all the way down to the centre of the map. I actually think it goes through the map, comes out the other end, and we're surrounded by jungles. And then we decided to build on this rocky area here. It was a very nice place. We do have plans on moving though, because it is very hard to defend this place. It's not very... We, it's not a really good of a strategic place to build, so... This is what it looks like. From the outside, anyway, we've got all these spikes here, stone walls, this awesome metal behemoth gate, which just makes the basics so much better. And now we shall enter, yes. So, first off, I'm going to show you our pen with all our dinosaurs in, because it took us absolutely ages to tame all these, and we got loads of them, and they're just overflowing all over the place. So, well, not loads, we could have more, but we'll spend a lot of time doing Oh, look, an egg, we've got an egg, we need to go down with that. So we got one, two, three, ah, uh, <laughs> this is what J Jacob's done to Big Boy's um, Pachysaurus, or whatever it's called, Pachycephalosaurus. So we got four of those, we got a Tyrannosaurus Rex here, a Sabertooth, one Carno, two Raptors, and loads of other shit, I'm not going to name it all, but yeah, these are our dinosaurs here, and we got this yellow scorpion which we painted, and it looks more like a plastic scorpion now that it's been painted yellow. Yeah, it looks a bit dumb, but, you know, it's cool. So that's our dinosaur pen. There's not really much in there, it's just an empty box stuffed with animals. Here's our Bronto, which I will show you. We recently crafted this massive saddle for it, which you can actually build a base on. You can build turrets on it, houses on it, anything you want on it, and it is really, really cool. And this thing took us five hours to tame, and it was level eight when we tamed it. So five hours at level eight to tame this. That is ridiculous. A level eight dino took five hours. That is insane. Here is the pterodon, which I'm going to ride right now, so I can show you a quick little overview of the base. Good idea, even. So this is our base. We've got the pen there. There's our main base there. That little box down there, there's pretty much nothing in there besides a the fridge, that's just where we keep all our food and stuff. But I'm going to show you our main base here, this little metal box. And I'm... <coughs> and I'll also be showing off the new base location which we're going to be moving to as soon as we can. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like inside of our little metal box up here. we got all these chests with all our good stuff in. Well, we haven't got that much good stuff. A little bit of wood. I'm currently crafting some more narcotics because we need these narcotic drugs to knock out more dinosaurs so we can get more. Very good indeed. Uh, we have a plant turret here. Um, it's similar to the auto turrets, but it's a plant obviously, and it shoots people and all enemy pets and passive pets. That's what our base defense in indoors is. We do need a auto turret that actually shoots bullets though because it would be a lot more effective against people trying to raid us. <laughs> Up here we've got the grill where we, you know, have a barbecue and everything. So much fun. We got a whole load of blueprints, just so many. A lot of them are pointless but there are quite a few good ones in there. Here's our little refining forge up here where we smelt our metal and we got a bunch of stuff in here because I'm currently crafting a bunch of C4 because I'll show you why I'm crafting it in a minute. It's to do with getting our new new base location. Here's the fabricator. And then we can have a nice roof view from up here as well. Which is brilliant. And here's our sharks down there. Let me just get out this little spyglass so we can get a better look. Just see them in the water. There's two of them. 
I'm going to try hard to come up here. This is a uh, light reflecting. Oh no! Come in! Okay, moving on. So as I was showing you before, there was turret, that turret that we had in the base. We've actually got a lot more of them. We've got two of them out here, which is protecting these little berry plants here and our water supply. And we've also got three of them by here, protecting the vault, which has all our good stuff in it. You know, we've got guns, grenades, armor, crystals, more narcotics, loads of chipping, loads more grenades, scuba gear. We've got some metal dinosaur gates for a certain reason. We're actually waiting for the update to come out on Friday, which will allow us to go and claim a new cave. So we're going to be the first ones there and put them down, hopefully. Uh, yeah, we have all our goodies in here, all the rare stuff. These are the seeds that you use to plant these turrets, they're extremely rare. So we've got quite a few of them, that's why we've got so many plants. Here's the narcotic farm, well, narco berry farm, we use to make our narcotics. And then we've got the special plants here, which we use to craft kibble. Kibble is a type of food that you feed your pets that you want to tame. And it increases their taming speed by, I think it's, increases it by, I don't know, I think it's 10 times faster than normal meat or normal food that you give it. Anyway, I'm going to quickly fly to our new base location and show off where we're going to be moving to. Okay guys, I am at our new base location where we're going to be building. It is this lovely, very lovely little isolated island just off the shore of the main island, the main part of the map. Oh, we got some megalodons on there. That is very good actually. Um... But we just need to clear a bunch of things out as this is all stuff of stuff and we need to remove everything. That's why we were making the C4, like I said, not not too long ago. The main reason we need it is because of these here. These foundations. Basically, um an old tribe called Hogs, and says their owner Hogs. Uh, they were a very strong tribe on the server, but their power got overthrown by another tribe. So, as they got angry about being raided and rage quit everything, they decided to put foundations on nearly every good location on the map. All the mountains are covered in foundations. Our new base is covered in foundations, and the only way to get rid of these is by blowing them up by with C4. It's going to cost about 14 C4 per one, and there's four of them here. Plus, we got this little fence over here, which is going to cost us a lot of C4. And this door here, um, this is actually placed by a tribe we're allied with, and we're asking them if they can move it. I think it is Beer Sports. It's not coming up, so I don't know what tribe. Uh, yeah, Beer Sports. This is placed by a tribe that we're allied with. Uh, we've asked them if they can move it, but they're very lazy, and I don't know if they can be asked to. So, we're either going to have to farm a lot more sequel to blow that up or we just can have to keep nagging until they decide to actually move it. But yeah, this is where we're going to be building. It's in a very strategic location actually because it's so much easier to defend than that rocky base because we're just going to cover in the front of it like as you can see where that gate is there. We're going to have like two or three gates down there covering that so nobody can get in. And have it all the way around the, the ring of that, around the top, so nobody can get in. We'll have turrets on the interior of it, and it'll be very well defended. It'll be very, very good. And it looks like they put foundations everywhere. God damn it. Why have they done this? Good job they've added ballistas into the game now. So I can actually remove them without having to spend C4. But yeah, this is a very good base location. And I really enjoy. I'm really. I'm. I'm really going to enjoy moving our base there. I don't know if I should actually do a video on us building the base or not. I want to start doing videos on this again. I originally was going to wait for a server wipe and start from scratch and record a series on it, but by the sounds of it, that isn't going to happen. And all I'm doing is just waiting and waiting. So I might just jump straight into doing a series. We're already mid, midway through the server. And building our base, so we won't be starting from scratch, we'll be pretty much finished. But we still got loads to do. I think I'll start recording it when we move to that new base over there, actually. I'm not too sure yet, though, so you guys will have to let me know if you want to see an Arc Spiral Evolve video or series, even. I know a lot of you do, I've actually spoke to quite a few of you in person. 
and asked you what your views are on this game and you wouldn't mind seeing a few videos. But yeah, I'm really not sure. Okay, so for you guys who don't really know much about this game, Ark, um, I'm just going to read to you the little description that comes with it that just tells you really the basics about the game, what you're going to do, and what it's really about, so yeah. As a man or woman stranded naked, freezing and starving off the shores of a mysterious island called Ark, use your skill and cunning to kill or tame and ride the Levian's dinosaurs and other primeval creatures roaming the land. Hunt, harvest resources, craft items, grow crops, research, te research technologies, and build shelters to withstand the elements. While teaming up with or preying upon hundreds of other players to survive, dominate, and escape. This game really compares to um, the forest, if any of you have heard of that. Like, it's kind of the same aspect of what you have to do to survive. You have to build houses, like little houses, little huts to stand the elements and hide from the things that can kill you, like on the forest with the cannibals running around everywhere. Cannibal people and on Ark but the dinosaurs. There is a bit of a bit quite a big difference really. But it's the same like farming technique, you have to chop down trees and gather resources, blah blah blah, all of that. Ark's just a lot more evolved. Yeah. See what I did there? It's a lot more evolved. Um, that game, I guess. Anyway, guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading recently. Well, I say I, I say that nearly every video. To be totally honest, because I've been very lazy, I, I just keep de deciding whether I want to record ARC or not. And then the videos that I do upload, I'm like, I don't really like them, so I kind of wait for a special time or a special moment on a game for it to be funny, and I know you'll find entertaining. Like, I just don't want to record every single day on what I'm doing, because I don't know if you're going to actually enjoy that or not, and that's why I don't upload much, because I'm waiting for a good, mo uh, good moment on a game to happen, or some funny time whilst I'm with uh, my other friends to record. Because I know they make the best videos, they get the most views, and they get the most likes, and I get the most comments and support for those videos. But when it comes to just uploading random stuff that I just record on a daily basis, I, I don't... I wouldn't be really happy with my channel, I don't really know what to do, it really depends on whether you find them entertaining or not, so let me know guys, I don't really know what, what I'm doing with my channel at the moment, I know it's just going to go on for ages, but yeah. Anyway guys, I'm just going to thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.